Well, that's us back in Plymouth. So why are we back in Plymouth? Well, we need to do our annual maintenance, which includes removal of the bottom growth, uh, doing some anti-fouling, changing the anodes and lots more. And our big project uh, into, over this winter is to build and fit a solar arch, which will also act as a dinghy davit uh, lift point. Plenty of contractors around Plymouth to help us. So let's show you how we crammed all our haul out jobs into one week ashore. Well, the weather wasn't great when we arrived back in Plymouth. So we had a few days, we had to wait out some storms, stormy weather before we could get lifted out. So it's been a bouncy old afternoon in the marina. This is the view outside and we're on a, we're on a pontoon. And there's, and there's probably, I don't know, about one foot six maybe of movement against the pontoon. Lots of rain. How'd your teaspoon? It's a pretty bouncy old no, uh, day. We're uh, rattling around. I mean, we weigh 18 tonnes, so we're not quite as bouncy as some of the boats in here. But We did manage to get some jobs done. Uh, while the weather was bad, got our sails sent off for cleaning, worked out how much anti-foul we needed and made a long list of jobs we had to do. So having swapped out the outboard, we needed to get rid of our old dinghy and swap that out. So what do you think it is? Chicken pox, monkey pox? Maybe scarlet fever? I don't know. Mary's enjoying herself here, but what is she doing? Well, this is the sort of thing she loves picking wallpaper off or things that are stuck on that shouldn't be on or things that have to come off she loves that don't you <laughs> so we're taking the name off the dinge we've got our uh, storm cells out and check them out make sure we know what we're looking at very busy coiling her rope she just likes them at a particular length everything else is ready for load out for lift out a new ladder for getting on and off the boat it's collapsible Diesel from the one that's uh, just been lowered in. <coughs> so we've got to turn around to go in there. Once the boat's uh, ready alongside, the guys take over in the marina. You basically hand the boat over to them and they do all the work to lift her out and uh, move her over to supports, clean her down, get her ready for you to work on. Yeah, it's a bit scary seeing your, your home lifted out like this. It wasn't actually as dirty as we were expecting after a year and a half um, being in the water. And they cleaned her off with a pressure washer. And once she was out of the water and safe in our stands, we celebrated by going to the pub and having a meal and a, and a pint. So we've got a scaffold tower to help us do maintenance on the work, on the boat. And so we've now got a jigsaw puzzle to put together. New collapsible ladder is uh, all fitted up, all locked up, so it doesn't collapse. But there's quite big steps on it between the ladder rungs. they all tied off at the top so it can't damage the boat because it's uh, got protection on it as well. It's um, very high tide today. This is one of the problems with the uh, uh, transducers for the the depth sound of the fish finder you get a lot of barnacles and stuff on that because you can't put anti-foul on it a little bit on the hole where the pads were last win the last time we were out and then a bit of greenery on the boot line and some on the props inside there we'll have to take those out and clean those probably the main anode isn't really eating away very much at all but we'll replace it anyway so we went out for a donder up to the top of mount batten hill this evening before the sun goes a nice view of the city from here on the top and then Jenny Cliff Bay, which is a good anchorage. There's one boat in there. This is the men from Mars. <laughs> well, not quite Mars, but whatever. At least we're not blue. So to prepare the boat for the anti foul you have to give it a quick going over with uh, sander. Now we're on this side. Port side left today. 
at least we've got a nice day for this. You can't hear me with behind the mast and everything, but hoping we can get the rest of this side finished today. So that's it all rubbed down. The boot line we've taken a bit extra off, been getting really furry, so we're smoothing it up. Today's been pretty much about polishing. We've been, uh, well, I've been polishing the top sides with this new uh, nano polish. It's quite a lengthy process, so you've got to clean everything, polish it, clean it off with uh, panel wipe, then you've got to apply the polish, then you've got to polish it after that. So it's um, quite a slow process. But there is quite a difference between, I don't think you can see it on the film, see where the uh, little blue marker is, that's where the polish has come to. So you can see the blue line there makes quite a difference to the blue line once you've got it polished up. The top sides are looking nice and shiny. So pretty pleased with it. We'll see in six months to a year whether it's uh, lived up to its, to its reputation. This is the product, it's a ceramic nano polish which is designed specifically for marine applications on top sides. Service in the Max Prop, but we've also got a problem with the cutter because the cutter's got a set of shear bolts in it and they're broke, both broken. You can see it's down in that corner there. See, there's a little the head of that nut's come off, that, that bolt's come off. So we have to put a cap screw back in there. You've got to dismantle the Max Prop to do that. So, to do that, you take this cap off the top here. There's a series of bolts on there, the anode comes off first and then uh, you're into the insides of it. Quite difficult to see but underneath here there's a little pop mark and that's an extra E on this uh, outer rim. That's where it has to go back close attention to this chart pole it will become important next year so that's us rebuilt <coughs> rebuilt the uh, max prop so we've got uh, this is a new node anode here the blades now have sorted out the, the connector between the two so that's working okay we must have hit something pretty hard to uh, snap shear the connector between the two sets of blades so another anode on here on, that's a prop anode and that's a, that's a special, this one you seem to be able to buy and then the anode on the outside here was missing when we took the boat out of the water um, so, but it has two anodes in it, it has that one and the one at this side um, so it's okay, we've put it back on, put some Loctite on it this time um, just so it uh, doesn't wobble, wobble loose, I think that's what's happened vibration has uh, pulled it off, or maybe when we hit this rope or wire or whatever it was that wouldn't wouldn't get cut through here and don't actually hear anything and mary's to do she's got to do this uh, sail leg with something that won't affect the aluminium which i think that's what it is so she's got to put some antifoul on that and then some antifoul on the prop as well the second side of polishing Mary's done the hull painted uh, anti file I think we've got one coat on so she's doing really well and uh, it's going on quite well right well this is uh, the starboard side finish I've got one little touch up just up here a little bit of white showing and that's all the boot line it's good I've got four layers on the boot line you can sort of just make out where there's a little change of color and the blocks have been moved so they've been painted so the only ones I've got to do when it gets in the sling is this there's a strap that goes underneath same with the back and under the keel I've still got to do everything else is ready for her to go back into the water on this side Mary looking pleased with the paint job. Paul still struggling with the polishing. 
So are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> Having every minute of it on second coat, like a arms. <laughs> Yeah, I've had enough now. So it looks like there's a skiff race today. And they're off, yep. Three skiffs. One called Amazon, one called Dagger, and one called Kedu. And this is how you apply the polish. There's a very small bottle of it, 70 pounds that cost. You put a little dab of it onto a sponge and you apply it over a one foot square area and then you polish it. That's her finished. Chain has just gone up back up into the locker. It's been painted with every five meters. All the undersides done, four coats at the boot line, done that part of the keel, just got the other bits to do once it goes up into the sling. Sail dry's been painted, the crop's been sprayed, new an uh, anodes on, nice clean rudder, and it's been painted all in behind. other side looking good too so that was finished this morning for the boot line as well that's her other side done so with all the work done we popped her back into the water after 12 days of work we had uh, booked a, a two-week uh, haul out but we managed it shorter than that this is alongside we're just gonna have a cup of coffee and think about going back to the berth because it's pretty breezy She's staying there for tonight, moving in the morning. No, we're driving the bus that we've been living in for a fortnight. Why, why have we been living in a bus? Because technically we're not allowed to stay on the boat for a, a month at a time, so... A, a fortnight at a time. Month. Yeah. So we're going back to drop the camper van off. It's not been the most comfortable of uh, places to sleep, but it's been okay. on a plank with holes in the middle. Yeah. It's done its job. It's done its job. Back seats fall down flat and you can get you can get laid out flat. There is an upper deck but we've never actually used it. it lifts up. Too much fat. You have yeah. to turn these front row seats you're sitting on round and then climb up this way to get into it. So about this time we started having a lot of problems with the iMac. Uh, it hadn't been working very well and the drives weren't uh, storing files properly so having exhausted all the online support we could uh, we were directed to Plymouth Apple Center they're going to fit a new drive to it well we've got the iMac back from the fixtures the, uh, the Apple shop so we'll take it out of this and see if it works it's alive Yes, we finally got our uh, iMac fixed, a new drive it has in it, a new SSD drive, and uh, seems to be running really well. Took a while to upload all the photos and everything else, but now it's done that, it's running really quickly. So hopefully we'll get a video out. Right, this is the new Apple we got from the Apple shop yesterday, specifically to do videos on when we're not on the boat. We can take it with us and edit, or we can take it home obviously this year when we go home and you should get be given a, a little pink thing to pour to unwrap it a macbook pro 14 inch shiny Ooh. looks nice eh oh it's broken itself up as well cables and a charger i should imagine so Oh. Is this, did he say this is different? Yeah, it's different from the one we've got, so it's a C cable, I think. And this is the Johanna Lucretia, one of Island Trust Sports, coming over to the dock to get her masts uh, lifted and sorted. That's what you call a wind vane, that. An impressive mast as well. Lots of bits of timber here. And the top masts and everything. Big blocks as well. 
Wow, yep, that's a big bit of timber. I guess that's where it keys into the support through deck. It's back in the water. We've had her in the water for a few days now. I've got all our mooring system on so she's good and safe while we're away. Bought a couple more big fenders which we've got stashed in here because it does move around quite a bit. And Mary has done the decks again with uh, some courage again. So she's looking great. One of the things we wanted to update this season was our logo for the channel. So I did some designs and I passed them on to a friend of ours, a son who is doing a design course and he's called Raphael Designs. You'll find him on Instagram, all one word. And uh, he um, made them into a much better looking logo. And so if you want a logo done, he's your, he's your contact. He did a, this is the final design and he then animated that and then I added some sound to it. That's what you see at the beginning of all our videos. So what have you got on the flight? Macro squids. Ooh. Show us the bottle. There you go, Aperol Spritz. <laughs> Didn't think you were getting that, did you? No. Not after £11.50 in the airport. Oh. This has got £5.50. So an evening in the club for the club prize giving. with when you're packing up to go long distance sailing you're going to sell everything and or store it literally everything that we own either in boxes to go to storage or getting sold mary's been doing a grand job of selling furniture a lot of this is going soon soon we're going to be on our <laughs> sitting on the floor and sleeping on the floor <laughs> yeah the beds are just about to go tv's gone so we can't watch that so yeah, we're sitting in a bit of a goodle at the moment, but it's all organised. We've got some stuff over in the corner here, which is going back to the boat, maybe. So we'll have to shed some weight to get that on board. Tilly lamp there, going to somebody for a new home. So what's this, the Scottish Riviera? It is today, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it's really, it's really warm. warm. Sun's out, sea flat. What more could you ask for? No, can you hold that up, please? Hopefully this will get me out of all this. The internet's not, it's not working. working. It's going really slow. Well, considering we're in Plymouth, you'd think it would be quite good internet, but it, it's rubbish. Mm. So this is our Starlink setup for the boat. Very easy to put together. Just a couple of plugs and plug it into the mains and then you little app on your phone and in no time you're up and running and it's very fast and before Christmas we attended a great birthday party for one of our long time friends Robert Gordon who was at the ripe old age of 80 truly frozen over today has been for a few days I think our Christmas was spent in then uh, mostly at the sailing club we had dinner at the sailing club played a few party games and we even went out for a walk with uh, some sailing club members after the new year uh, we did have a bit of a bender with the car but that was uh, eventually fixed and we helped one of our friends take an engine out of his boat uh, just into Possibly the new year slightly worried but all too soon it came time to leave our little house and rent that out and head back to the boat. Hi! Um, well, it's a bit of a different content video this time. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Showed us what work we've been doing. Seems like a long time ago, uh, last autumn, when the year, year was beginning to close out and it was getting cold. But it was a successful haul out for us. We got all the jobs we needed done quicker than expected as well. I'm glad we got some of the big jobs done, like mending the iMac. And uh, then we also got our friend son, um, Raphael Designs, who's on Instagram, to redesign our logo, 
which he did a brilliant job and that was great thank you very much but the sad part was in Scotland of seeing all our friends and now we won't see them for maybe a while quite a while because we're going further away still lots to tell you about though in terms of the work we did over the winter and uh, some of our travels we'll show you where we've been over the winter so stay tuned for some more episodes showing you what we've been up to so we're currently heading for the Channel Islands um, and then to do a bit of Brittany before we start off the next phase we've actually got some good footage of the pilot cutters in St Moors having a race which will more likely be our next video so, so until next time Bye. Bye. No idea what I look like. So. Just running it. <laughs> um, shall we try again? Oh, it wasn't really good. <sighs> yep. Stay tuned. <laughs> We're currently heading for Channel Islands, I think. Yep, and then. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear.